Nice day to you all. I'm Vadisha Rajapaksha from Department of Material Science and Engineering. Today I'm going to present our final year project under the topic Modeling of Laser Assisted Thermal Reduction of Graphene Oxide for the Development of Strain Gauge. First, I would like to give an introduction to our project. Problem Definition Graphene is one of the most promising materials used in electronic industry due to its unique electrical and thermal properties. But it is such a challenging task to produce pure graphene. Reduced graphene oxide can be used as a substitute for graphene because reduced graphene oxide has similar properties as graphene. There are several methods to form reduced graphene oxide such as chemical reduction and thermal reduction. Many researchers have proceeded experiments to develop graphene based strain gauges using reduced graphene oxide. Graphene thin films with particular patterning can be easily fabricated by laser assisted thermal reduction of graphene oxide. The purpose of this work is to model laser assisted thermal reduction process of graphene oxide in micro scale and evaluate reduction degree and electrical conductivity of final product in order to develop a manufacturing process for electronic devices. Our mo major objectives were modeling the temperature distribution of graphene oxide during irradiation by using commercially available lasers and developing reaction kinetics based mathematical model to calculate oxygen percentage and the electrical conductivity of laser treated graphene oxide. As first step we calculated heat dissipation of graphene oxide films considering conduction and radiation. Then we model temperature distribution by considering boundary conditions and laser parameters and design parameters. Then we model temperature variation on focus point, temperature distribution along the surface through focus point and temperature distribution along depth through focus point. With the results of temperature distribution modeling we uh, modeled reduction kinetics. They are we used Lerf and Klinowski model of graphene oxide and we found a suitable temperature range and the reaction occurred at that temperature range for kinetics calculations. With the results of kinetic calculations, we calculated carbon to oxygen ratio in order to find the electrical conductivity of reduced graphene oxide. When we comes to graphene oxide, it is an oxidized form of graphene. It contains oxygen functional groups such as hydroxyls, epoxies, carbonyls and carboxyls. For our project, we used Lerf and Klinowski model of graphene oxide. According to this model, the oxygen groups can be categorized into two components, major components and minor components. Major components are distributed on the basal plane of graphene oxide, commonly hydroxyls and epoxies. Minor components are distributed at the edge of the basal plane, commonly carbonyls and carboxyls. Then we did literature survey for reduction temperature range. At lower temperatures such as uh, 450 Kelvin, hydroxyls, carboxyls and carbonyls try to uh, reduce. Then at higher temperatures uh, normally about 823 Kelvin epoxy groups and carbon atoms tends to remove. This uh, reduction of carbon atoms make RGO less conductive. Therefore we selected our reduction temperature range as 450 Kelvin to 823 Kelvin. As next step of our project, we did temperature distribution modeling. We considered heat transferring happened according to two methods, conduction through the graphene oxide layer, radiation to the environment. 
here we assume several assumptions first one is graphene oxide is an isotropic material this was assumed considering multilayer polycrystalline behavior of graphene oxide then we assumed scattering and reflection of laser beam is neglected and average laser power was considered as continuous by using heat conduction equations and considering non steady state governing equation was derived which is shown in the slide then for three dimensional temperature distribution of graphene oxide film we used comsol multiphysics software for modeling purpose we selected several wavelengths and powers for our project wavelengths were selected in the range of 350 to 650 nanometers powers were selected in the range of 0.5 to 5 watt then we plotted temperature versus power for different wavelengths in the time period of 60 seconds in order to find suitable laser combination here we used our lower bound for the reaction as 450 kelvin and the upper bound for the reaction as 823 kelvin selected laser combinations were used for reduction and temperature distributions along the surface of the graphene oxide film were separately plotted then resultant graph was generated in order to find diameter of reduction area according to the laser power as next step of our project we modeled reaction kinetics using the results of temperature distribution modeling here we used rate equation and arrhenius equation for calculations we considered modified lerf and klinowski model of graphene oxide for our purpose this model represents chain like structure of graphene oxide considering the unit cell as c6o2 oh twice for theoretical calculations functional groups at edges of the graphene oxide plane such as carboxyls and carbonyls are neglected we separately calculated reaction kinetics for selected wavelengths and powers then we plotted graphs in order to find maximum reduction for different para, uh, parameters and carbon to oxygen ratio for different lasers as final step of our project we did calculations to find electrical conductivity achieved by selected laser powers and wavelengths we did literature survey to find the relationship between carbon to oxygen ratio and electrical conductivity of reduced graphene oxide so electrical conductivity values were taken from the graph shown in the slide according to our oxygen content values so we plotted graphs to find maximum conductivity at irradiation point for several powers and average conductivity of irradiation area for several powers maximum conductivity was achieved as 8 siemens per centimeter and maximum average conductivity was achieved as 8 siemens per square centimeter for laser power of 5 watt and wavelength of 550 nanometers this value lies in the semiconductor range major parameter for strain gauge is electrical resistivity therefore this method is suitable to make graphene oxide patterns in order to develop a strain gauge in summary we developed a model to predict distribution of carbon to oxygen ratio and electrical conductivity of laser assisted reduction of graphene oxide reduction volume diameter of different laser parameters were calculated in order to assist control in the resolution in industrial applications maximum carbon to oxygen ratio was improved from 1.5 to 3.5 comparing to initial state electrical conductivity is improved from insulative region to semiconductive region 
This is the end of our presentation. I sincerely appreciate your attention today. Thank you for your kind cooperation.